A few weeks ago, Risk of Rain 2 released their anniversary update, which honestly brought so many different and exciting new content into the game and whatnot. Today, to celebrate that, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to install mods for Risk of Rain 2 using the R2 Mod Manager. Let's go. How's it going guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is Desinker and like I mentioned, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the mod loader for Risk of Rain 2 and have it in such a way that you can easily give your friends a code that will automatically download the mods and the configuration so you all can play together at the click of a button. Let's get right into it. So guys, the first thing you all have to do, you first have to download the R2 Modman mod loader Try saying that three times fast from their official website. I will leave a link to it in the description. Just hit that manual download button and let it do its thing. Once the download is done, guys, you obviously have to install it. I recommend extracting it first before going ahead with the installation just to avoid any issues that may occur and stuff like that. So extract the folder maybe to your desktop. You can delete it later. Double click the R2 modman setup.exe. And obviously, your Windows is going to yell at you. It usually does. I mean, Windows. And just click run anyway and let it do its thing. <clears throat> hit next, choose where you want to install it. I have my own folder for it. And then just hit the install button. Once you guys have finished downloading and installing R2 Modman, you're going to be greeted with a page of a game selection. There's actually a couple of different games that you can do mods for as well. But obviously, we're focusing on Risk of Rain, so select game and let it do its thing. Once you start, you're probably not going to have a profile. Chances are you might actually be on your default profile. You can easily create a new one and start working on your mod pack like that. So for now, let's go with the default profile and I'm going to teach you just a few settings and configurations you have to get sorted beforehand. Once you boot up your R2 Modman profile, chances are this is most likely what you're going to see. Let's take a second to appreciate how neat this layout looks. You have the start modded and start vanilla button, you have the installed mods and you have all the the list of mods available for your download over here. <clears throat> this good thing about the R2 Modman is that no matter what you install, it's not going to override any files of your actual game. So if you choose to play vanilla with a friend, you can literally just click this button over here or run it through Steam and it'll boot up without any mods whatsoever. And if you want to play with mods, you simply click start modded and it'll run with all those mods. Now, this is what you guys have to do. Head over to the settings page and there's a few settings that you still have to organize. Chances are the one that is not automatically done is the change risk of rain 2 directory. You just have to click on this and select where you have your risk of rain 2 installed and then select the directory and that is it. Once you're done with that, you're free to basically browse and install any of the mods that you see on the mod page. Honestly, there are so many of them. There is a few mod packs that you can easily download that includes uh, like a buck ton of mods and whatnot. Keeping in mind, however, that as of this making this video, there's still a lot of mods that are outdated as the new adversary patch recently only just came out. And there's still a lot of mods that are still incompatible with the latest version. So just try to stick to the most recent updated mods if you can. So let's suppose you spend a few minutes already downloading mods and configuring them to tailor to your gameplay style and you want to get some friends to join you and whatnot. That is completely possible and super super simple to do, but they need to have the exact same mod pack. There's an easy way to do that and all they need is the mod loader itself. This is what you do. Head over to settings, go over to profile, come over here to export profile as a code, click on that, wait a few seconds, it's going to generate a code. You give this code to your friend, so copy that, go to change profile, import, from code, and paste the code there. Your friend pastes the code there, and then hit import. And that's going to download all the mods and configurations for those mods on your friend's computer. And then all you guys have to do after it's all done for each other is just go up there and hit start modded. And that is it. That's how simple it is to download mods for Risk of Rain 2, pass it on to your friends so you all can play together with the same mod pack that you made. So that's it guys, that's how simple it is for you to actually download mods into Risk of Rain and then give your friends those exact same mods so you two can play together. Now go ahead, start playing the game, have fun, and then start fucking raging because Mifrix took all your items and then decided to absolutely annihilate you in one freaking hit! I totally don't have issues with the game.
at all. I love the game. I love it. <laughs> Such a good game. Such a good game. <laughs> but no, seriously, jokes aside, guys, thank you so much for supporting the, us. Thank you so much for watching the video. Come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday starting at 4 p.m. Australian West Standard Time. I'd love to see you guys there. And if you enjoyed this video, and if it helped you in any way, shape, or form, hit the subscribe button. Honestly, I'd love to see you guys here again, and I'd love to see you guys on Twitch. Thank you so much for being here, everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.